Mel Todas Group. In the bottom lap, uh, with very sexy uh, medevac uh, dr dropping the ghost out EMP play, we have MVP King. In the upper left, we have our Protoss player with very solid play. Can he win on this map of Keen's choice? He is. AGIM Squatter. All right. Squirtle, what are you going to do on Star Station? I'm really excited because this map, Tesla's, is a big pain in my butt. Yeah, it would be nice to have a good uh, build to steal here. Yeah. Uh, just to explain, guys, the third base has a lot more surface area to it than a lot of third bases. Like, you look at Daybreak, and there's a choke, a funnel that they have to go through, and that allows you to have your army yeah. uh, easily move over and utilize force fields a little bit better. They can't get as big a concave, things like that. Whereas here, there's three directions to attack that third base. And by the way, also, if you're all the way over at your third base, the natural's open. Also, if you're up at the third base, uh, for your units to walk around and get into your main is pretty hard. So Do it's a really you good choice. Map? I actually could tell you how to play on this map. Does it involve Tempest and Cannons? No, it does not. Okay. Well, no, it does it. not. Uh, no, look, I, like, when I get on maps like this where it's very clear that the race that I'm playing is just not, is as kind of an inherent disadvantage. Mm -hmm. and, and for laddering at least, it's not like yeah. for tournament play. Because um, if it's tournament play, then you got to prepare for that specific player. But yeah. on the ladder, I would just, um, I hide a, a pylon and I just proxy Oracle. Yeah. No, I, that, I think that that's a good, that's, that's probably not like, a bad plan. I mean, all. obviously there's some risk involved because yeah. if they scout it, then it's like, well, I'm in trouble. But I mean, I would, I would play like that over playing anything else. Yeah. No, I, I totally get you. And I think that that's a. Uh, that's a fair thing. If you find a map that's hard and you want to pick up some extra points, some extra wins, yeah, that's definitely a way to do it. Of course, I'm Artosis, so I don't proxy anything. Artie. Ever. Artie, come on, Artie. You got to proxy, man. You want to win? <laughs> no. Captain Careful no. over here. Yeah. Captain, Captain Careful. Artie, <laughs> Artie, a.k.a. Captain Careful, plays, <laughs> plays StarCraft wearing condoms. Yeah. You know, last shadow used to call. He, he made that up. Yeah, yeah. No, he was Called telling me, me about this a while ago. Captain and I'm like, careful and Starcraft. Captain careful one. because when he told me that, I'm like, oh, that's so accurate. Yeah. Because I, yeah, I just, I don't. Li I like to play macro games, man. I'm just careful about everything. I want to get to the late game. <laughs> you are, man. <laughs> I want to get my money out of Starcraft, man. I want my games <laughs> to be your long. Money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, he's uh. driven out that Reaper. Yeah. Now, this is such a strong opening so far for Keen. See that? Oh, sick. That's rough. Now, we were what talking about do? a lot of stuff, but uh, basically, if they send an SCV at the you... SCV got in, too. He's like, chase me, chase me. The the amount behind that his Nexus is going to be is so, so far behind. Like, he's going to probably grab a gas, maybe throw up some extra buildings, because his minerals are going to be huge by the time he actually clears this eBay. As you see, the next this gas is going so up. annoying. Yeah. This is terribly annoying. It's slowed him down completely. Keen has already taken a lead in this game. Should have proxied. And now the Reaper goes up. Probably kill a probe and leave. I mean, this is... Keen's playing very well, man. So he won't kill a probe, but he will leave. Will he leave alive, though? I think I think not. Nobody leaves here alive. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> we can... We have to start casting this the way the dialogue is in the single player. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Trying to. I, I just played. I, I just. Play, I, how are you? How are you firing the single player? I haven't started it yet. You haven't started it at all. When the legacy of the void beta goes down. Okay. Is that? I will play <laughs> the, the heart of the swarm. Single player. Oh, it's like the, the dialogue in the game where he's like, "You bring everything you've got, Kerrigan." That sounds like Warfield would say that. Uh, I don't, actually don't know. Is that his, the guy's the name? The way that you just said it in that voice. Yeah. That's yeah. Warfield. Is that name. Warfield? I think so. I'm not good with names. The guy with one arm. The, yeah, the yeah, yeah. That's Warfield. You zerk scum. Yeah, that's that's totally that's so Warfield. That's Warfield. You know Warfield. He's got a temper. I mean, he's a good guy. You know, but uh, well, he's patriot is what he is. I, what is it the Wings of Liberty campaign where like Warfield's like he's like lost his arm. Yeah. And, like they're put on a new arm and he's like, I just want to get back to battle to kill those zergs. I'm like Warfield, are you? Okay? I think you're in shock. You <laughs> lost your arm. I know that's that's the rough. only arm you have for the rest of your life, man. I mean, I would have thought they would have no, figured out a metal the stem cell thing for you know, for now. Yeah. 
Not quite. Not quite, man. Squirtle doing some nice uh, little, little kiting here of these Marines. Yep. In the meantime, we are going to have a are those Widow Marines just drop. going to die? Uh, they may, but the thing is, Keen isn't going to care that much because these Stalkers are over here instead of in the main base, and there is a zooming medevac on its way. In fact, I think Squirrel just realized something's wrong. Why is he doing this? Why is he giving me <laughs> these Marines? Well, it's because all he cares about is getting this Widowmine drop off correctly. Uh -oh. Here we go, Tasteless. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, will Squirtle realize? I hate it when this happens to me on the ladder. And look at this, he's going to bring a very good move to bring this other one over here. And it sees that there are some orphans. It does not commit. And with that uh, Observer coming in, it looks like Squirtle has held this perfectly. How many, yeah, games, yeah. how many games have you played where you didn't realize there was a Widowmite in your base for like a certain amount of time? Uh, not many. I, I normally notice the Widowmite. I've had one or two where it's like not in my mineral line. Mm -hmm. But it's somewhere in between. It's like kind of in my base, but not where my units would normally be. Yeah. Then like I sent one or two stalkers to guard for a medevac drop, mm. and then they're out there. I'm like, that was weird. <laughs> I thought I sent them. I swear to God, I sent them. Like I find out five minutes later, I'm like, oh. that happens. Yeah. All right, a second forge is on the way. Uh, as far as Keen goes, he is getting his third command center, so he's playing pretty economically heavy, and I really like that for this map. You don't want to take any big risks as Terran on this map, generally speaking. Uh, you know, the map just kind of favors it, the Terran player overall. And in these positions, it's going to be all right as well. You know, there's going to be three different routes he can use to go up towards Squirtle space. So Squirtle is kind of, the onus is on him. You know, he's going double forge and Colossus tech, so... It looks like he wants to play a macro game here. I wonder if it's going to be like a 2-2 two, two timing something. I don't think it is, because he has four observers and everything. So I think he's going to want to take a third. That's That could be hard, though, if Keen doesn't yeah. mess up and well, you know lose he a lot could of do. He knows Keen's harassing a lot. He could just be trying to to, to like chew up all the metavacs. Like, see spots and coming in here with the observers, and it just kills the metavacs. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't have damage, then he can just do a two-base timing. Because you know Terrans can do that sometimes. They're just attacking you too much. Yeah. Like, all right, man, listen, I'm just sitting here waiting for your medevac to fly in. Yeah. Look at how way out really space that, that medevac is. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. The uh, really good placement of all these buildings so far. And look at this on two sides. The Marines come out on one side, and here comes the Widow Mine. No. Nope. Well, these two medevacs look like they may be in no man's land for a little bit. And beautiful target. This is right really on that nice. Medevac. That is exactly how you want to do it. Target that medevac down, and bam, down it goes. So well done by Squirtle. And this is something every pro will eventually be doing: is really heavily targeting uh, medevacs, because you know that's. Look at this. His, <coughs> his drops are done for now. They are yeah. done. That nerd got zooped. He got zooped. He got zooped. He thought he got zapped, but it was even no, more that's than a, that. I think that's actually what we got to call it now. Whenever the medevac can, it just kills a drop. Zooped. It's zooped. Hmm. Maybe. It does sound like zoop, doesn't like, it? Yeah, it's because it, it, I want to say zoop. you got zapped. Zoop. Yeah. Zoop. Yeah. Zoop. Yeah. How zoop. many zoops does it take to get in the middle of a medevac? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to be near 30 to get that one. Yep. I think. Maybe they still run a car. Anyways, anyways, are you ever oh, oh, almost. Almost fin uh, fantastic force fields there. Not quite, though. And it's just about time for Squirrel to take a third base, to be honest. Oh, a nice scan. He's looking for when that third's going to be taken with that probe sitting there. It's not too much of a stretch of the imagination I to think that there's going to be a Nexus there soon. <laughs> and Imagine there is. He throws a gateway there. It's like <laughs> most random play ever. Yeah. He makes like two more forges there. We're like, whoa, that was like the least expected thing you could have done. He's <laughs> made two more forges. Yeah. That's your uh, third, uh, would be third base. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh -oh. another little Looks like he's going to this one. Uh, he's targeting out the medevacs there. I mean, the uh, marauders. Everything starts with M for Terran. It's hard. It is. All right, well. Yeah, actually, my god, you're right. Everything starts with Marine Marauder, Medevac, yeah, medevac. Mine. Mine. He's Mule. like, that starts with W. That's Mule. just an upside down M. Mm, SCVs. <laughs> mm, SCVs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And look at that, target down quite a bit. And Reapers. <laughs> no, Reaper starts with R. What? Sorry, sorry. That was, that was <laughs> you, don't even, you don't get it. <laughs> You're like, M. Banshee? No, Tasteless. <laughs> M. <a> Banshee? <laughs> uh, all right. 
So Keen right now starting to mix in those Hellbats as we saw in game one. Continuing to do some harassment here. Very annoying for Squirrel. You know, each time he loses a probe or two. His drop's not really that important for Keen. He's getting whatever he can done. Yeah, um, these medevac drops are more so keeping Protoss from leaving home than actually doing yeah. damage. Yeah. Uh, you know, the thing is, if he drops that ten times and he has the APM to do that, and each time he kills a probe or two, it is very worthwhile. And look at that, he's making him use a lot of energy. Keen getting right out of there. That's more energy off that uh, that very important To be honest, support. I'm still always surprised at how much uh, range the Nexus has. <laughs> yeah, I, I, every single time it is yeah. surprising. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, you see, this is this is going to be a little bit crazy because there's a lot of Hellbats, but there's Psy Storm. So this... All right, here, here we go! go. And he's going to have to hit the Storm on these Hellbats. Hellbats walking forward, going after the High Templars almost. Zealots uh, really clumping up, taking a lot of splash damage, but beautiful storms are going down. The Vikings land from behind and try to split the attention of Protoss. Whoa, another really good Storm coming down here now. The Zealots are splitting up a little bit. All the Terran units are bruised. Uh, looks like the Widow Mine did end up hitting uh, the Morphine Archon, but it should not actually uh, matter because it looks like Terran just barely has enough, and I think this will probably... Um, trigger a counterattack here shortly after to hit that third, which is so hard for Protoss to defend, as you said, Artosis. Yeah, and what does he make now from here? He's making uh, very heavily Zealots, but Zealots aren't going to do well against a lot of Hellbats, which you know, he is trying to pump out. All right. Going to go ahead and just uh, regroup now. And I, you, you know that um, Squirrel knows that there's a high chance of being countered over here. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, so we're about to ask what was he doing with those Templars, but it looks like he's going to send him back. With ghosts on the way, uh, this could become pretty rough. You know, he really needs uh, Psy Storms, and even Archons, very, very useful against Hellbats. But with EMPs, a few EMPs, and all that goes to Hell, basically. So this is, this is going to get harder on Squirtle. Especially as Keen Spy is going up higher. Now he is trying for one of these big drops once again. This time not as many Whoa. stalkers in there, so he is able to actually unload. Especially uh, since he's made a lot of the energy on that uh, go away, but it looks like he does have enough left. Looks like he should be able to pick this off and then get out of there. Yeah. Oh my god, and look at this. A Hellbat drop in the natural. Did he actually? It looks like he got the Nexus and then left. Yeah. I don't know how much he lost there, but uh, I don't think it was all that much. Medivacs are so fast. They are quick. All right, now he's just... If they were a Looney Tunes character, they'd be Speedy Gonzalez. Well, they would be, yeah. I think they'd be the Roadrunner. I think I actually have to correct you on that, Artos. They would be the Roadrunner. Do they go meet meet? Uh, yeah, they do. do. They well, they dodge they pick all up? the traps of the Wily e. Coyote? Pretty much, yeah. All right. All so right. they definitely go meet meet when they... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying trying to to, the, yeah, <laughs> other Looney Tunes characters we can involve. I guess you're right. I no, guess you're right. totally Roadrunner. Marauders are definitely Pepe Le Pew. You run from them. They slow you down. <laughs> they jaunt towards you. Yeah. They harass you. All right. So this is a very he heavy Zealot-based army. Just non-stop reactored Hellbats have been produced. And it looks like we yeah, a ghost in there once again. He's going right, to see if he can science vessel the High Templars. Yep. Getting the Templars out here in position. They got to be careful because when they're isolated like this, you don't have to EMP them. You just run up with a few units to stim them. Oh. Whoa! Talk about getting your money's worth of damage there. Yeah, good storm. So the third one was not one he wanted to have to do, but it was yeah. well done. So those uh, storms weren't aren't going to impact this next battle all that much. He's going to need these storms to get off from these what? over here. EMP that. Oh, so well done that EMP. And here we go, Tasteless. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, and it's going to be a really nice arc here for the Terran. Yeah, he's got a micro well. This is a very marine-heavy army. The Vikings taking out the Colossi. Forgo the Archons and uh, the Stalkers, but it's it just look like enough. now, and that's going to be a GG. It's and a tough map to win on. It definitely can be Tasteless. I want to put in the team matches that monkey in the booth. Oh, my god. Somebody wrote down Which one's counter. Keen and which is the monkey? I can't quite tell. It's hard to say. I think Keen's a bit taller than that monkey. I think a little bit. All right, Squirtle. All right. Squirtle's not out of this yet. He's going to have to um, 
to go face off against a Zerg opponent here. Yeah, uh, and Shine is going to be kind of hard for him too. I mean, he's a very cheesy, very aggressive player, and that could catch Squirtle off guard if he can't get to that later game that he's so comfortable with. Yeah. Well, we're going to go on to the winner's match after the short break, so uh, don't go anywhere.